Buenas tardes. Third party voter registration organizations are facing challenges in Florida. Year after year, there has been an onslaught of laws to make voting more difficult. A new state law, SB 7050, ratified by the legislature last year, is adding more restrictions and requirements for these organizations to operate in the state. They are acting as a fiduciary for a, a potential voter, somebody who hasn't registered to vote and, and they're trying to get to register to vote. And so we wanted to put a number of added safeguards around um, what a third party voter registration organization is, is essentially asking of somebody. The new regulations include restrictions on who can register voters, more administrative burdens for organizations, such as re-registering before each election cycle, and higher fines for violations. It uh, bars um, uh, non-U.S. citizens from conducting voter registration in Florida. Uh, so for us, um, uh, we have um, um, about 70% of our, of, our, of our workforce down here are uh, able to work in the United States, but they're not U.S. citizens, and so it would bar them from uh, having a job with us and doing voter registration. Many people, predominantly minority voters, are first registered to vote through the assistance of third-party voter registration organizations. What kind of voters are most affected if this law goes into effect? Yeah, it's going to be the ones uh, for us that are the hardest to reach. So people who are monolingual Spanish, uh, probably very brand new to the, to the system. They're probably a first-time citizen. Recently, they have no idea how to navigate systems out there. And so uh, those are the ones that need the most help, and, and those are the ones that are be most impacted by this law. In Florida, people of color are five times more likely to depend on third-party organizations for voter registration. A coalition of these organizations has filed a lawsuit to challenge the law, alleging voter suppression. When I say black voters, you say matter. Black voters. Matter. Black voters. Matter. Right. Black third-party voter registration organizations have been raising concerns for some time. Previous laws have also made it harder for voters to cast mail-in ballots. How many of you all vote by mail here in this, in this room? Right. You see the percentage of people who raise their hand. Now, did you all know that because of the change in state law, you need to go in to our Miami-Dade County Elections website and register again? for your vote by mail ballot. How many of you have already done that? Voters must re-register for mail-in ballots for every Florida election cycle. The SB 7050 law also restricts who can assist voters with mail-in ballots. While Republican state lawmakers argue these laws aim to uphold electoral integrity, organizations challenging them argue that they are designed to keep minorities at home on election day. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.